Yeah, I was wondering how you guys are handling that if you get a call, like, is there like threat of arrest or any fines or? No, no, not at the moment. Just, so, you know, we're, we're trying to just be in compliance. There he is. He's Dominic. No mask on. Hey, Dominic. Mm -hmm. I, I got a couple questions. Is, is that a law? It's a law. See, guys, you got to know your rights. You got to know your laws. Is there any religious exemptions on that? Uh, not that I'm aware of. There's never been a religious exemption, even when they were in full force last year. If but you're violating the Constitution, then you would be responsible for that. Uh, do you think any of this, you know, you have to do this or else you can't do that, do you think that falls under coercion at all? Yeah, no problem. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. The one and only. There I am. You're all set. How you doing, Lieutenant? Good, how are you? I'm Lieutenant Tucker. Actually. I'm just wondering, um, so I know they did the mask mandate again in all, all buildings and stuff. Yeah. I was wondering how you guys are handling that if you get a call. Like, is there like threat of arrest or any fines or? Not, no, not at the moment. Just, so, you know, we, we're trying to just be in compliance. We're just trying to be the hammer. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I did a public records request and uh, it said that there was no threat of fine or arrest. Yeah. But then I looked on the uh, website and it said first first offense fifty dollars, second offense yeah. one fifty, and I think third is three hundred. Yeah. So do you guys write the fines or? We can. We're an agent of the city, so is that we like can. Board, board of health. The board of health is really setting the tone on this. Yeah, yeah. You know, we, we so can they they write the fines themselves? Um, yeah, the board of health. Yeah, and that's David Green, Greenbaum, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. So you guys aren't really. Are you like if if they ask you to tell people to leave the building? Are you trying to get people to leave the building? Or? Um, there hasn't been any any no, situations. There's, there's been a lot of compliance. Yeah. There, yeah. There's been good compliance. Yeah. And, um, uh, there hasn't been any like black and white orders from the city that, you know. Well, that, that's, that's what I'm, that's what we're gonna do that's right what I'm trying to make so clear yeah. because it, yeah. it's so like yeah. in the air and. Uh, yeah, the goal is to try to get people. To yeah, and I know a lot of a lot of officers that I spoke to are kind of done with this too. And well, a lot of people nobody, are. Yeah, I haven't met anyone that likes a mask. Yeah, yeah, so like, yeah. I know you guys are put in a hard position also. So um, I'm, I'm just, because I am gonna go to City Hall soon and uh, I'm gonna go vote and everything else, so I'm not going to be wearing any masks anywhere okay. under the medical and religious exemptions okay. and, you know, our right to protest and all that stuff. So, okay. um, I just wanted to come down here and see firsthand if you guys, what you guys are doing, because yeah. I know it kind of, I got a, the public records request and then what they posted recently kind of went against each other. Okay. So, all right, I just want to make sure. I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, I thought she was stopping for me. Alright guys, you ready for this? So I went to the police department already. I've done a public records request. They said there's no fines or uh, way they can arrest you for not complying. So here we are, just to show you guys. I will not comply. So. I wear a mask in here. No, you don't. No, you don't. Uh, I will. I do this all the time. Here we go, Karen. I'll find out. Hey, you can watch me live if you want to see this happen. That's what I thought. I figured I might get in a... So, City Council Chamber room. I got uh, some emails from him. Yeah, I knew that would be quick up there. They don't even have the up the downstairs anymore. I don't know if it's because I called them out on it or what. But I'm going to go around. 
So, um, I have an email from him. And uh, he says that when I do this, I'm, uh, hi. He says when I do this, I'm uh, provoking and harassing. So he's making my First Amendment protected activity a crime. Everyone's being compliant. Everyone is being compliant. <laughs> These girls usually don't have any of so. So guys, uh, I might ask them no mask again. <laughs> What's up, stop climbing? Oh, he put his mask on. Alright, so, um, Last time I came here, the city uh, solicitor wasn't even wearing hers. So, I think they've all been told to just ignore me. It's going to be a quick one, guys. I usually say that, and it's like an hour and a half, but this will probably be about a half hour. I'm going to take a little She's compliant. This is her office that passed away. She got no mask on. It's the city solicitor. I'm going to go to the apartment. So, guys, uh, supposedly they don't have to wear a mask in their office, but it says you have to in the whole building. Uh, what about at desks? Are people supposed to wear masks at desks too? At desks? Desks and offices and oh, stuff desks? like that. Oh, desks, yeah. And uh, I actually know. Oh, they don't have their things up here anymore. Huh. These are the uh, flims. Let's see, she's got her mask on tight, always. Oh, Chief of Staff, here he is. Dominic Pagi Gnano. He's got that really strong tight. See if he comes out. So there's two things I wanted to bring up with Dominic. One that he does not respect what I do and it is protected under the First Amendment. The other is that he limits people's comments on Twitter, which is also a violation of the First Amendment. Remember, Dominic is the chief of staff for the mayor of Salem, Kim Driscoll. His Twitter is completely political and here he posted about the challenger of Kim Driscoll and he limited all comments unless he follows you or mentions you. I could not reply to this tweet, so I had to retweet it and then inform him that he was in violation of the First Amendment. Since they are cowards and they will never respond to your comments on social media, I decide to go in the building and go ask them myself. Yeah, I'm gonna ask my question. Hey Dominic, mm -hmm. I, I got a couple questions if you wouldn't mind asking, uh, answering them. Actually, I'm not available right now. You're not? Sorry. Oh, okay, thank you. He said he's on a conference call. Not 
So guys, see, they don't want to uh, They know when you stand up. When you stand up, there's nothing they can do about it when you know your rights and the laws, guys. I'll email him, see if he responds. Let me see if there's a slide door. Start pressing each. Excuse me? Is that a law? It's a law? You're, it, you're for a mask the Says who? The okay, and what if you don't? What happens? What happens if you don't? Call who? Because David Greenbaum said it was all right for me not to wear a mask. Hey, David. Yeah, it's, it's just a requirement that the administration requires masks. If you don't want to wear it, that's fine. All right, thank you. Okay. Appreciate that. You know there are exemptions, correct? Okay, have a nice day. Thank you. See you guys? You got to know your rights. You got to know your laws. Don't stand up to these tyrannical orders, guys. I'm live. I'm live right now. So I'm just letting my followers know that. Excuse me? What? I am live right now. So I'm letting my followers know that they don't have to deal with these tyrannical orders. I am live on the internet. So you don't have to follow these tyrannical orders, guys. They can't back them with arrests. They can't back them with fines. None of the above. They can just tell you, yeah, oh Christ. Can't do nothing, guys. They hate it. They hate it. Yeah, they love me big time. Love me long time. Okay, no mask. They don't know what to say when you when you say is it a law? This kid he doesn't have his mask on. Exactly. Most people just bow down and comply. Oh. No mask. No mask. Yeah, let's do it again. You guys aren't complying with the, the orders. This dude again. Heard that, guys? This dude again checking on us. This is the assessor's office. The whole rules for me, not for thee. It's funny how they don't have to wear masks inside, but everyone else does. Uh, what about at desks? Are people supposed to wear masks at desks too? At desks? Desks and offices and stuff like that? Yeah. See you guys? This is what it's all about. Flex on them. Tell them they're wrong for what they are or are not doing. You see, this one probably doesn't have this one. She does. Yeah. This is where they drop. This is where the ballot box is, guys. Drop box. They get two clean pens. Oh, that's a clean one, too. I wonder how they clean them. This is uh, the voting's happening, so hopefully we can get this Mayor Driscoll out of uh, office. Elections and registrations. There's only a few of us out here, guys, that are actually uh, standing up for our rights. I hope when people see this stuff, they, uh, 
get, get the cojones. Oh, that's the one that called on me one time. She called on me one time. She actually called her friend, police officer. And then the mayor's office called. Jen, let me, Jen, Jen, real quick, let me ask you. Does the guy have like a, like a, a, a man bun? Yes, yes. Yeah, that's he's, Thomas. That's Thomas Madsen. Not Tom. I know Tom. Okay. Another one. This guy's got a mesh mask. He's walking around to every employee we have. So the cop is already here. So no calls to the police, guys. Have a good day. No call to the police. Good luck, Mark. You guys want to take a little tour around real quick? Take a little tour. Good, how are you? Good. Uh, what about at desks? Are people supposed to wear masks at desks too? At desks? Desks and offices and oh, stuff desks? like that? Yeah. All right. Um, is David Green Can I? Can yeah. you see if he has a minute, please? Yeah. And there's, um, <clears throat> if they're in their own yeah. private office space, yeah. the city policy, you know, that there's not. But I have to see. Yeah, all right. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. I figured I'd just add into what she was asking, so. How you doing, David? All right. Um, just wondering, with uh, the new mask mandate, um, is there any religious exemptions on that? Uh, not that I'm aware of. There's never been a religious exemption, even when they were in full force last year. There was All right. Of so, uh, First Amendment, freedom of religion doesn't fall into that? Or? Uh, you know, that's a legal question. I'm not a lawyer, so yeah. I would attempt to answer it. But well, I mean, you're putting the orders on, so you'd be responsible if you're yeah, violating... It, it, if you're violating the Constitution, then you would be responsible for that. Well, I don't think we're violating the Constitution. We, we issued an order that allows for a medical exemption. Yeah. Uh, but there was there was never any religious exemption in any of the orders, even from the federal government all the way down to the local government. Well, because the uh, Civil Rights Act of 1964 says in any public accommodation that you are free to exercise all, you know, all rights, which is religious okay. or something like that. But uh, my main concern was about tonight with the meeting. Yeah. Uh, do you have, the, I, w I went to go into the Zoom, it gave a little link, uh, it asked for, a, I think, a password? All the passwords should be on the agenda. Uh, can you give me a copy of the agenda? Yeah. Did you just click on the Zoom link or did you click on the link? I, I, don't, I think it might have been through Patch. Uh, I just read the article, I didn't. I didn't if, you, if you get it. From the city website, you okay. should have an active link that will take you right into the into the meeting. Okay. All right. All right. I'll, I'll get to the link. Yeah, I appreciate that. That's the link. If you go on the city website, just okay. click that. And that's the password. Uh, and that's the password. Awesome. But you shouldn't need a password. I, awesome. it didn't, I don't think we set it up. Maybe it was through the patch. That's why I did the Maybe. password. But um, and one last thing. Do you think any of this, you know, you have to do this or else you can't do that. Do you think that falls under coercion at all? Um, what do you mean? Such as, like, say, you, you can't get a job unless you do this for me. Like... Um, I don't, no, I don't think it falls under You don't think so? Or like you can't enter this building unless you get a medical test for the COVID test? Yeah, I don't, I don't think it falls under yeah. You don't think so? Okay, all right. Here are a couple of definitions from dictionary.com and the all-dependable wikipedia.com. Please pause it if you would like to read over these definitions.
And also let me know what you think in the comment section down below if you think what the government and their actors are doing is coercion for us to comply with these unconstitutional anti-freedom orders. Well, uh, I sent out an email to Beth Renard and uh, I CC'd all of you guys too. So I just sent that out like 15, 20 minutes ago. So. Okay, I'll have to, I didn't see it. Yeah, yeah, no, I wasn't expecting you to already see it, but I just figured I'd let you know. And uh, I'll, I'll be in that meeting. So I appreciate you. Thank you.